hello again and in this lecture you'll get familiar and understand the activity tabs what are these and what tabs can you add and what activity details you can add so as you see here but first let's back pick our activities and return to our group and sort of WBS which is the most widely used WBS and here we go expand all and done okay so in shots case we have these four tabs but can we add more we can add and utilize it by right click anywhere here customize activity details and these are the tabs let's move them all here so now no available tabs you'll understand each and every one of them so let's go to the activity tab the first one here the general you have the activity id that you have already assigned the activity name you might change here as well not only here like make it two and here it shows directly the project which project because sometimes when you open different projects it will tell you which project this activity is in the activity type and there are different types for the activity as you have known so far that the finish milestone the task dependent and the start milestone the resource dependent is a type of activity used for an activity which is has limited resources in such a case you will assign the resource and give it days and everything and the resource will drive the activity duration not like the task dependent and you have the level of effort which is almost similar to the WBS summary and the WBS summary but level of effort represents work more than only just summary and here is the duration type the most popularly used as well is fixed duration and units you can try each and every one and see which one fits you better but I recommend using fixed duration and units and you can use fixed units only fix it times fix the duration of the units because you add the duration and you add the units and you add each and everything and let's fix the units only you will add the units but the duration is not fixed as you see fixed units per time this means that you are going to do let's say 10 blocks per one day and the duration will be assigned or you will do only 10 blocks and you'll put each and everything and the duration will be assigned uh, but this one is the most used since complete type is duration so what does duration mean duration means here that if this activity during the update is 50 percent if this activity is 50 percent we are going to add column we are going to add percent completes and we will it might add physical percent complete as well performance percent complete so when updating so when updating when you make this activity started you will you will take let's say for example 50 percent this will automatically be five this you are also going to see it in the update lecture this is the calendar but the gal calendar we have agreed to use is the guard room make sure it's right and here is the wbs and the responsible manageable primary resource if assigned in the states here it's the original duration how much still in the update this how much actual has been taken remaining how many days is left total float free float and the status is it started or no here from here you are going to update any constraints on this activity constraints is explained later in the next lecture and you are going to see the labor units if you assign any labor units to this activity as well the resources for sure because no resources assigned but you are going to add resources from this pattern there's no resources assigned again remove filter by all resources and you can add first you can define the resources and add the resources from here the relationships which shows the predecessors and successors which actually is the same exactly as this two tabs if we move this two tabs this tab it's exactly the same successor and predecessors so we can use either one of these so we can remove the predecessor and successor because we have the relationship 
which is more than enough. Tab BS and Docs if you want to attach any documents to an activity for later use. But by the way, if you did this, it would be very hard and the software, especially if it's a very big schedule, not like this, it's 56 activities only, but if it's a huge schedule, it would be very difficult to manage and it would take a lot of time in copying, pasting. It would be very hard to manage, so I do not recommend this at all. But you can add whatever work products and documents. The summary for the activity, when you have the resources, you might have what's the budget, the non-labor, labor units, whatsoever. You can show cost, you can show dates for each and every item. Steps, for example, this activity resubmit, you might add an activity, which is, uh, there's no much steps in this one, so this one is a bad example, so you can remove it. Let's say, let's go to the construction. Uh, footings and column neck, you might add steps as steel works, preparation steel bar reforming, steel bar formings. You can add other steps as shutter and boring concrete. I do not recommend this so much because it's not seen clearly and everyone is not seeing it so i do not recommend it this much and here you can also add for pouring that pouring will happen the same day will happen continuously have it continuously non-stop for example this is just for an example i do not recommend this at all though but a lot of planners love to work like this we can remove it or we can just keep it here and whenever you finish you are going to complete it shutter completed and boring is completed so the notebook is whatever you want to add for this activity you want to add that this activity has been done on this date you can write whatever you want you can add any notebook from here explanation you can write the vendors that's used for the footings of the column neck it's like the management of the whole project through b6 i do not recommend this so much there's also contract management there's other beam of b6 than the one that we are using here and there's other softwares that manages better because this in the large projects it becomes very very hard so i do not recommend this much but this is what notebooks do you can write from which vendor did you buy for the entry criteria what teamwork you can write delay index as well there's a lot of items and notebooks you can add to one single activity the feedback if you want to add any notes to resources feedback from the primary resource when you assign the resources expenses if any i also recommend not using expenses this much i can recommend that you add a resource and put the expenses on it rather than use the expenses but a lot of planners also love to use this one finally and not the last thing which is the codes in the codes you're going to see what we have just assigned. Let's go to an activity which has some codes from our engineering. Here are the codes. So these are the different activity tabs. I usually recommend to keep them all, but let's say, for example, I'm not going to use WPS so much, so no need to have it here. So we might just remove it. Summary, I do not prefer to use steps, so I can might remove it as well. Notebook is my not is not my favorite feedback expenses sometimes i use it sometimes I'm not so i might keep this and this would look perfect for me but as you wish you can also put whatever you want according to your project your project scope and your work scope and actually your job description are you working as a planning engineer only or are you working as a project control in all also that you have to track each and every expenses that you have to get each and every cost what exactly should you do and by here you are now more familiar with this part downside and this part downside you can only view it from here by pressing active details if you press this one activity usage details again for the resources uses profile resources resources and the rest what resources here is segmented by the resources to use not much here to see so recommended this activity details this tab that we are talking about next lecture you're going to be more familiar 
with this part because this part believe it or not it's an important and it's crucial for any project and you might use it a lot way more than you can imagine